Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am here in my living room. If you've been with me a while, you will recognize this. This is my favorite room of the house and this does appear on my home tour. This is almost like my DIY corner. But the reason I'm here today is because I have another video for you and it is this absolutely gorgeous autumn stroke Halloween-y, but I'm gonna call it autumn. So I made this garland, I am actually in love with it. I was umming and ahhing over the colors, but if you know me, you know I like the blues, the greens, the darks, the moodies, those kind of colors. You see how I tidied up to here, but I still got the blanket. <laughs> Anyway, so this is the garland I have made with some pumpkins and some pine cones. And can you see that sparkle? Oh yes. These are made using Arteza's paint and their glitter. So today I'm gonna to be showing you all their glitters and I'm gonna be using some of them in these DIYs. And trust me, they are stunning. So in the description box below, I will be leaving a code. So your code is Claire's Crafty Corner 1. So if you apply that when you're checking out with Arteza, you will get 10% off the products that I'm using in this video today. That lasts until September. This one here, absolutely stunning. My favorite glitter of all time. So if you would like to see how I made this absolutely gorgeous, autumnal, moody, dark garland, then carry on watching. So to make the garland, I am using this potpourri bag, which I have had, I'm sorry, whoever you were that gave it to me. I don't know if it was my mum or my sister or my friend. I have no idea, but I've had this upstairs in my office for the longest time. So I'm gonna use the pine cones from here. I'm also going to be using some spray paint. I am using the Arteza acrylic paint and the glitter in this DIY, but I want to give all of the pumpkins a spray of the white primer first, just because I just don't wanna waste acrylic on it. But yeah, that's the plan. And these gorgeous pumpkins, I couldn't believe my luck. Amazon, $7.99 for a pack of 12. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take everything outside, five pumpkins, five or six pine cones, spray them all with a coat of primer, and then wait for them to dry. Right, that is the pumpkins sprayed. Now, they have come out really nice. It's very tempting to keep them white. And it's brought out, there's a couple of patches here, but it's brought out some of the texture on the pumpkins that was already there. I was a bit worried they melted, but they didn't. I am going for Arteza's Prussian Green. So it's a really gorgeous dark green. I mean, these colors, again, they're gonna go with our living room and that is what this garland is for. Prussian Blue. And I'm gonna mix this one in with both of them. And I think it's Pithalo Green or Pythalo Green. <laughs> Somebody out there tell me, tell me, tell me what, how you say it. But yeah, this color I think is also gorgeous. I'm gonna mix that in with both of them. So yeah, it's, I'm gonna get so messy right now. Let's go. So these are all dry now. I haven't done the bottoms yet. I will be doing the bottoms at the end. And I'm, there's always a moment sometimes in a project where I'm like, mm, not sure where this is going, but I am gonna persevere because I know the end result, what I'm looking for. And of course, if I hate it, <laughs> I'll probably never post it. But I'm loving these so far. I love the blues. I definitely love the blues with the mixture of the green. And you can just see the edges of the green coming through. Again, haven't done the bottom yet, but I will do that at the end. So the next step for me is to give them all a copper top. And I know that these colors are very, very much in our living room. So the blues, the greens, the coppers, and that is why I'm going with the metallic copper tops. So I am going to be using the Arteza metallic range. Now, 
I feel like I might use all of them, but we'll see. We've got the copper, we've got the bronze, the gold, and the Aztec gold. I'm not sure what the difference is between those, but I'm gonna find out. I really was a bit worried that the metallics wouldn't cover such a dark color but it's done a really great job I mean this one I really love it it does pretty much look how I wanted it to look in my head I was toying with going down the crevices with it but I thought I'd leave it there and I'm gonna go in and do the copper now I think I have to say the copper is my favorite color it's just so amazing and it really does um, take against the dark color which is amazing you can see the way I pull it out there I've used again a lot on here but I'm gonna transfer some of this to one of these because <laughs> I don't know, I'm, ter I'm terrible with portion control. But yeah, it, it, it is covering like a dream. The next step for me is to wait for these to dry. I'm gonna take the pine cones outside. I'm gonna actually spray those. I was going to paint them. I feel like that might take me three days. I'm gonna spray them with Rust-Oleum dark green paint and then wait for everything to dry and then it's glitter time. And this is where I feel like the difficulties might begin for me. I mean, the colors here are incredible. I'm definitely going to go with some maybe copper and gold <laughs> again, maybe even some gorgeous dark greens. But yeah, I'm gonna get them out and have a look. Right, these are the four colors that are immediately jumping out at me. This one is incredible. This is holographic black. And I don't know if you can see inside but yeah, it looks like the galaxy. <laughs> we'll have a go at that. This one is pure copper. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got two greens. We have got sea green on the left of the screen. And we've got olive green on the right. So I'm definitely going to go with these colours. See how they work. And that's it really. I'm going to use some Mod Podge to glue onto the pumpkins and onto the pine cones. And start sprinkling. I have just had a go at this one here. It is a holographic black, I have to say. If you've watched my channel, you'll know I'm not a blingy, blingy, glittery person. That's why I like dark colors and moody colors. But this, what? This makes me wanna be a glittery girl, like a girly girl. <laughs> this color here, the black holographic is absolutely stunning. It's a, obviously it's a mixture of different colors, but it is it is just like out of space basically and I think if I had the chance I'd go back and redo all of these pumpkins in just that. With the pine cones I don't really want to cover them too much but I think I'm going to leave the green completely. Um, might mm, maybe add a little bit but yeah that black holographic probably two of the pine cones in that and then the other two in the darker green because I am in love with this colour right now. Absolutely love it. So let's go. Just a little bit of a dab. If you just kind of like get the brush, just do this to the pine cone. 
Otherwise you could spend ages just going on every single individual little stem. You don't really want to do that. I mean, it's just going to take forever. So just a bit of a dry brush all the way over. And then that glitter is going to catch the edge. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Cannot wait to see this. I am loving the way these turned out. I have to say, hands down, the glitter, the black glitter is my favorite glitter. I'm looking around for it, can't see it. I've obviously put it to the side to fill it back up again. But <laughs> that glitter, 100% my favorite out of the box. The green has also come out really quite nicely. Um, the copper, definitely bright. This reminds me very much of Halloween, as in, you know, the bright oranges and all of that. But yeah, loving these. I'm gonna wait for them all to dry. Once they're completely dry, make sure all the excess glitter is off. I'm actually gonna take them outside and spray them with a coat of clear varnish because I don't want that glitter coming off. So I will be doing that before I make the garland. And here they are, finished product. I have attached them all to some twine and you can see the way they hang here and they catch the light. The glitter catches that light so beautifully. Now I have fallen in love with these pine cones, so I have only just wrapped them around the twine so that come Christmas, I can just take them off. Absolutely love these. The way the glitter catches the light is unreal. And even when you're sitting down, it just, see? Just catches, absolutely loving them. Remember, if you would like to get your hands on these glitter packs, you get so many glitters for the money, then I will leave a code down below. You will get 10% off with Arteza. And I am an affiliate, which means I will get a bit of a kickback from Arteza at no additional cost to you. So I will leave all of the links for everything oh, in the description box below. Make sure you go check that out. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.